think. <clears throat> oh. You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. <laughs> That's a pretty good line. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Now, I know people find it very strange that Leon tries to kick the Torres Mendez, but the way it's perceived in our eyes might be different to the way it actually happened from Leon's perspective. But, I mean, it, it is a cutscene, so it, it is kind of odd that they would do that. But I think either way... Uh, Leon would have been captured by Batoras Mendez in this part, and I think in some ways Leon was a bit overconfident in his abilities thanks to the fact that he dealt with a whole bunch of villagers back in that village siege, so he thought this would be nothing. Or maybe in this scene he probably didn't have uh, enough ammo, or maybe he couldn't reach for his gun fast enough because he thought maybe then they would react by the time he could pull out his gun. No, no idea, but I, I don't think this is bad. It's, it's worse than the remilk. I mean, what happens in the remilk is far more stupid than what happens here with Leon trying to kick Petoras Mendes. And I don't think this is stupid at all. Because again, Petoras Mendes is going to end up capturing Leon one way or another, thanks to his strength right over here, and the fact that they're in an enclosed space like this. really wanted to talk. How observant, senor. Now, uh, say, uh, you got a smoke? You know, those things will kill you. Oh, well, maybe just some time me then, huh? <clears throat> Joder, not this guy! Who are you? Okay, stop right there! Seriously, Leon? You just dealt with a whole bunch of villagers back in that village siege. You ran past a couple more trying to kill you as you were making your way over to this location. So you have plenty of reasons to believe that every single villager is a threat to you. And then Batoras Mendez comes in and you're like, who are you? Stop right there! As if that's somehow going to stop him. I mean, that first villager you dealt with in that house, he immediately tried to attack you and you didn't even get the chance to say, stop right there or anything. And now, after a whole bunch of villagers tried to kill you, you're now going to be like, who are you? Stop right there. As if he's somehow going to be any different to the other villagers. What is wrong with you, dude? And then Batoras Mendez is the one that injects Leon in this scene. It just seems odd for him to do that. Especially since the very first cutscene of Resident Evil 4 Remilk had that girl being sacrificed for that kind of wicker man scenario because Illuminados 4-3 mentions that the villagers need to make sacrifices to Sadler and if there are any outsiders, they need to sacrifice those. Although apparently in separate ways Remilk, uh, every outsider is supposed to be given fair judgment, whatever the hell that means. Like, what does that have to do with the Plaga? The Plaga needs to spread and procreate, it doesn't care about judgment or anything. That's so stupid. And if every individual needs to be judged, why are you immediately infecting Leon with the Plaga? It's not like you saw him dealing with all those villagers or anything. And you have other plans with Ashley. You don't need to deal with more outsiders. At least in Resident Evil 4 OG, it makes more sense for Sadler to instruct the Ganado to inject the Plaga and just have Petoras Mendez take him to that location to be injected with the Plaga. Petoras Mendez voiced confusion of why exactly Sadler was keeping Leon around, especially uh, putting him with Luis in the same room. And it's because Sadler was trying to draw out Ada. Sadler knew that there was an unknown third organization at play here, because how else did the U.S. government find the village? And so he not only injected Leon with the Plaga, but he also put him with Luis in order to draw out Ada. Huh? So at least in that scenario, it makes more sense than whatever he's doing right here. So having Petoras Mendez be the one to inject Leon with the Plaga doesn't really make sense here. And it's going to contradict what happens at the end of Chapter 2 of this pre-alpha, where Petoras Mendez just starts choking Leon out. 
and he's just like, your blood has accepted the gift, and he just says it like the Plaka has at times failed to fully uh, take control of the host, but there's not any sort of experiment log or anything that indicates that the Plaka failed to infect the host, so I'm, I'm confused by that. Getting back on track, having Victoria's Mendez inject Leon here only to then choke him out, and then just make that quote, I just feel like the screenplay here contradicts the screenplay and the writing at the end of chapter 2. So this really doesn't make any sense.